Is going live on Facebook or any other platform for that matter freaking you out? That is something I can so relate to you because when I see my very first Facebook Live, let me tell you, it's painful to watch. Now, in this episode number 113, I'm going to share with you three tips on how to rock your Facebook Lives or any other type of video you're going to make so you can attract more clients into your world, engagement, people asking you for more information about what you're doing and also making you feel comfortable in the process too. So, stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from thierryvalexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so that you can attract all the best qualified leads into your business and monetize your brand much faster, easier and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new video training with a freebie attached to it, a PDF, a guide of some sort that is there to empower you, help you move the needle into your business to wherever you want to take it to. Now, in this episode today, I want to share with you how to overcome the fear of going live on Facebook or any other platform for that matter because it is exactly the same. What is happening within yourself to go live on Facebook will happen the same to go live on YouTube, on TikTok or whatever else, whatever platform you are using. Now, I'm going to go straight to the point letting you know that going live is what's going to propel your business much faster. It's going to, by the algorithm, put your content at the top of most of your other content with photos or no photos. That is why going live is so, so important for that first reason. Having said that, I know how nerve-wracking it can be to press the play button, the go live button, because I was there myself and it wasn't pretty. <laughs> it was really not pretty to actually see what I did back then, back in 20, 2012 was my very first video. And however, what I can tell you is that it was so worth it to stick to it, to keep on doing it, to, uh, to be committed to the action, to the activity of just showing up for my audience. Because now I am where I am today and there's always progress to be made, yet it is definitely much easier than it used to be. So let's go into what is going to remove or at least reduce the nervousness of going live. My first tip is to shift your focus. What I mean by this is that it's, first of all, very natural and normal to feel out of place when we are too self-centered. And that goes for anything. So what helped me be feel better and more comfortable with myself is to actually shift my focus from being on me to being on my audience. That will help you to actually remove yourself from the equation, essentially. Because what you do in the process is you focus on their needs, wants, desires, challenges, and then you are providing the solutions that they are wanting from you to resolve that problem that they, that they have and they want to get rid of. That is how you do this. You just shift your focus from being on you to being on your audience. And if you are of service, it's going to be very simple to do because you, you'll think of your audience. In addition of this, the beauty of shifting your focus from being on you to your audience is that it will keep you accountable to go live. I now have an audience which is expecting me to go live on certain days of the week, especially the one on Thursday at 8 p.m. on my business page, and to also be present in the email box or on my blog with a new episode each and every single Monday. So that is two advantages of being of service to your audience is that it's going to remove you from the equation in your nervousness as well as making you accountable to do the things even like to go live even long after the motivation has gone. My second tip is to remember that notes are your best friends. The typical and common mistake that people tend to make is to go live without really knowing what they are going to share with their audience or that they will forget what they've planned to share with their audience equally. Now, let me tell you that there is nothing wrong 
to have some notes right with you in order to not forget anything. So some bullet points, a text I would not recommend to be super scripted and to read out of what you want to share, yet to have some guidance, some bullet points that you can refer back to, that way it keeps you back on track in order to provide the value you plan on giving your audience without forgetting anything and while remaining natural as well. You are a human like anybody else. Every big TV presenters, presidents, the leaders you see on stage, everyone, all those people have cue cards, some prompters that they are reading. You feel like they are looking at you and maybe not reading because of the, the angle of the camera. And actually now you can see them even like Oprah, for example, on her TV show, you would see her with the cue cards when she's asking, interviewing someone to ask questions. So you're not any different. You will actually look kind of like a bit more professional because you will do that to not let your audience down. You see, again, it's focusing on the audience and you can let them know. You can say, hey, if you see me looking down, it's because I've got my notes. So uh, no worries. I'm not ignoring you. I just want to make sure that I'm providing you all the goods that I prepared for you. You know, each and every single week I do give you access to a freebie of some sort, a PDF, a cheat sheet, a guide that is there to help you, empower you in your business and move the needle closer to the achievement of your goals. So this week, because we're talking about going live on Facebook, overcoming the fear of going live, making sure that you look professional as well, that you're ready, I brought back together a freebie, which is the Facebook Pro file guideline which is there to help you tweak your profile and share with you the five elements on your profile that are like massive real estate of online real estate that people tend to not use and i want you to make sure that you use them at your best advantage and to the best to the maximum capacities for your audience to see you, be attracted and ask you for more information so that you can monetize your activities on social media, on Facebook specifically here. So if you wanna get access to this freebie, the Facebook Pro Fire Guideline, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. Now, if you're on my YouTube channel or any other platforms, just go into the description section and then you'll see there's a link that will take you back to my blog. Once you're there, below this video, you'll see a massive yellow button. There's no way you can miss it. It's too big, too yellow. You click it and then you'll get the Facebook profile guideline into your email box immediately. Now, are you concerned for people to actually be critical, whether they are watching you live or on the replay about your nervousness. This is my third tip, which is about being transparent to your audience and let them know that you're nervous. That is the best way to go about it, which is to diminish the big pink elephant in the room. Once you are mentioning it, people don't really pay attention about it anymore, right? There's a pink elephant and what? That That's fine, but if we, try to hide it, to pretend it's not there, then it's going to be even more prominent in the room. Like everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, there's a big pink elephant in the room, uh, but why nobody is talking about it? Whereas if you come immediately and say, hey guys, you know why it's my first Facebook Live or however many Facebook Lives you've been doing, I'm nervous, so I'm still nervous, so give me some love, Give me some support. I really need to uh, crack through this, this, you know, this fear because that's what I'm using as a tool to build my business. And people will be so supportive. They will send you some love. They tell you that you're doing awesome, and that's going to build your confidence. It's going to uh, make you feel better and carry on and doing it more and more and more and more. So. Be honest, be transparent, be upfront, let them know what's going on, tell them who you are and that you're nervous and that is absolutely fine. So in conclusion, just be focused on your audience, taking yourself out of the equation that's going to make your life much easier while reducing the nervousness by acknowledging it, letting your audience know that you are nervous and that's, that's cool, you're a human, right? 
and while also especially having notes at the ready some bullet points some cue cards something that is keeping you on track that way you are making sure to provide the value to deliver while remaining on track with what is it that you want to talk about because sometimes it's very easy to divert to go on, on a tangent to go somewhere and we lose the plot of what we are wanting to talk about thus having some notes is going to help you to come back you know on a natural way and be like okay i need to come back where i was and deliver back uh, to deliver the, the the content that you decided to give your audience so Hopefully that was helpful. I hope you are going to go live. My, that's my biggest recommendation is to go live no matter what. No matter what it is, no matter how much growth you need to go through, to grow through, as I like to say, do it. It's so worth it, my friend. People will come to you eventually when you're creating content and you're consistent at it. They will come to you and ask you for more information. They will ask you for your services. They will ask you to help them with whatever it is that you are providing them as a solution for the problem. They will. It happened to me. And if it happens to me, it can happen to you. And remember, I've got your back as well with the freebie of this week, which is my Facebook profile guideline that is going to help you tweak your Facebook profile and use the, the online real uh, places of real estate that most people do not use thus yet you can actually monetize so if you want to get access to this freebie just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically into your email box did you get value out of this video training i truly hope that you did and of course if you did Send it to your fellow network marketers, entrepreneurs, makeup artists, whomever you believe could benefit from the information that we've just talked about today to help them overcome the fear of going live and they will have access to the same information as well as the freebie too that they can download for free. Question of the week, what other income producing activity gets you nervous? or makes you freeze completely. Share with me in the comment section. I'd love to know where I can help you, give you some tips and make sure that you are moving forward within your business. Let me know what is it that gets you nervous or freezes you completely within which income producing activity within your business. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love connecting with you. Look forward to seeing you on the next episode. This training video is a wrap. Bye bye bye.